Hi, welcome to Tate McKenzie Athletic Center. This is our fitness center. Uh, my name is Peter Mumford. I'm the manager for Campus Recreation and you're going to see a whole bunch of little videos from some of our fitness center and program staff uh, highlighting a whole bunch of our different programs that we offer here for your enjoyment. Some are included within your $15 shoe tag and some just cost a little more. But really quickly, just take a look around and you can see all the different fitness equipment we have here, especially our brand new adult gym that's been here for a year. Anything from our cardio to our dumbbell weights, uh, our hammer string, chest curls, etc. You can't ask for much more for the low, low price of $15. If you have any questions, by all means, ask our fun and experienced staff and they'll be more than happy to help you out. On that note, let's go see what my staff are doing and they'll show you all the di different neat exercises you can do here. Let's go. Hi, my name's Luke. I'm one of the leaders for the strength circuit in the mornings. Uh, after the warm up, one of the, one of the things that we usually do is a deadlift. It's going to work uh, your whole body, but mainly uh, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. And Emily's going to show a quick example of that. If you've been doing squats to work your glutes, um, I got news for you that we have another exercise it's called the hip thrust. It's going to work your glutes a lot better than squats. So Emily's going to give a quick example of a hip thrust and this is one of the great reasons uh, to come to the strength uh, classes in the morning because we have nice big bumper plates so it's not awkward to throw it on you. Okay, next we're going to do a, a set of two exercises. This is just to showcase both of them. So first, Emily's going to do the bicep curl. It's going to work the front of the arms. Bicep curl. And after that, Emily is going to do shoulder press. So she's going to start with the dumbbells at her shoulder, press up, completely straighten out the arms. And this is going to work the shoulders and the back of the arms. Okay, moving on to the squats, Emily's going to show one of the variations that we do. It's called the goblet squat. Uh, she's going to hold the dumbbell out in front of her and go as low as she can. This is going to work the legs primarily as well as the glutes. Okay, try and keep your chest up nice and tall. Okay, this exercise is the assisted chin-up. Um, we're going to use the band just to give a little bit of help. And Emily's going to demonstrate how we do that. So she's going to put her knee in here. Grab the bar and pull all the way up. The band is just helping her come up a little bit easier. So if you can't do a chin-up by yourself... Hi, my name's Shahad. I'm here in uh, Studio 3. And I'm going to uh, demonstrate and a few exercises that I will be teaching in the upcoming uh, class, it's a new class that's, uh, that's this fall, this fall winter, it's uh, the TRX core conditioning class. So I'm gonna start over here. Here we have Alex, he's gonna demonstrate the body saw, okay? So what you want, you want to get your body as straight as possible, you're going in and then out. Excellent, try and get your abs up a bit higher, okay? Now this is an excellent core conditioning exercise. It's good for core stability, it's good for lower back, and shoulder strength. Luke is going to demonstrate the TRX rows, okay? So remember, keep your shoulder blades together, chest out the entire time, right? Focus on digging your elbows into your side. Now this is really easy for Luke. So you could probably, if you want, you want to step down a bit, make the exercise a little bit more difficult. And as you can see, the more he steps down, his angle changes and so does the difficulty of the exercise. You're gonna demonstrate a variation of a single leg squat. Okay, instead of having your legs forward and leaning back, you're actually going to lean forward 
and step back. Okay? Her knee is going to lightly graze the ground and up. There you go. Lightly graze the ground and up. Tuck your elbows in a little bit more. Makes the exercise a little bit more difficult because you have to have more coordination. Step over here. I'm going to demonstrate the push up, the TRX push up. Okay? So I'm going to start up over here. Basically, so you don't get any chafing. As you're going down, you want your arms to come up wide and in. Wider and in. If you want to increase the difficulty, you step down and in. Wider and in. Okay? This exercise is excellent for chest, triceps, and overall shoulder health. How's it going? My name's Alex. I'm a HIT class instructor as well as a group cycling instructor. I'm going to be doing some new classes this fall as well. So today we're going to show you some examples of what the HIT class looks like that I usually teach. So we're going to go over three different stations. One's mainly a lower body, one's a cardio plyo station, and then we have our upper body station. So, we're going to go. so the usual format we do in our class is 30 seconds followed by a 5 to 10 second interval where we can get ready for the next uh, exercise and we do three exercises right in a row. So 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, then we take a breather and move on to the next stage. So Luke's going to demonstrate the first exercise, the lower body station, which is going to be squats with a bar. Here's the overhead variation. So he's going to be doing these for 30 seconds. He can also lower the bar down to his shoulders for a bit of an easier variation. So Luke would do these for the first 30 seconds. We'd call stop. Go to the second exercise. Shahad's going to demonstrate what number two would be. It's going to be a lunge with a med ball twist. So he lunges out with one leg, nice and stable, and then he's going to twist to that side with his arms and the med ball to involve the core of it as well. So again, Shahad would do this for the second 30 seconds, and then Shahad and Luke are going to demonstrate what the third exercise would be. So we're going to get two partners, or you can use a wall as well if there's less people. So they're going to do a squat with a med ball and then do a chest pass at the top. And I'm actually going to get both of you guys to squat at the same time. So you're going to get squats in when each partner is doing them as well. Good. So again, we do 30 seconds for each of these exercises, take a breather and move on to the next station. So we're at our second station now. This one's going to be a cardio and plyo exercise station to get our heart rate up and do a little more cardio work. So Emily's going to demonstrate all three exercises here. First one, she's going to be doing some box jumps all the way through the course. Excellent. And going through the hurdles next. Perfect. Just like all the other stations, she's going to do this for the 30 seconds as fast as she can. When we've done that 30 seconds, we're going to go to the last exercise, which is going to be going through the boxes and the hurdles laterally this time. So she's going to do some lateral steps over the boxes and then some lateral jumps right over the hurdles. Perfect. Oh yeah. Good. Uh, station three now, we're gonna do some upper body stuff. So I'm gonna demonstrate the first 30 seconds, which is gonna be a rope drill. Luke's gonna do some push-ups with the dumbbells and a row as well attached to that. And Chad's gonna do some push-ups on the med ball, which we'll see in a second. So 30 seconds of the rope, you can either do it Single arm or double arm, which we usually switch it up each class. For those 30 seconds, then we're going to move on. Incorporating pushing and pulling muscles of the upper body. We're going to go down to a push up and then do a row with the dumbbell with the each arm alternating. For the second 30 seconds, and Shahad's going to demonstrate exercise three, which is going to be a push up on the Swiss ball. Which helps engage our core a bit too because of that added instability of the ball pads. And again, of course, the upper body is involved. So, thank you very much for enjoying our uh, short videos and demonstrations. I uh, hope you really enjoyed it. Just want to remind you that these classes are all uh, visible online at York U Lions, and then uh, click on the recreation site and you can scroll down. It's also available on the app, downloadable on all platforms. You can look up any of the programs that you want. We offer them Monday through Friday uh, at all times of the day. So, and I just want to remind everyone that on Monday, September 15th from 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. is our try it night. You can see all of the staff that were out here again showing you a whole bunch of different things, plus our intramural sport clubs and a whole bunch of other events that we offer here with Campus Recreation. We hope to see you out and have a great summer, uh, great fall and winter this year. Thank you.